This is Pedro. He lives all alone in the middle of nowhere. And this is his home for the next couple of months. Everything that he needs needs to be brought in and moved on the back of a horse. Pedro and his herd of sheep spend the first part of summer in a wilderness area, which means there are no roads and it is not accessible by vehicle. These sheep walk from the bottom of the mountain and start grazing at a lower elevation. As the summer goes on, they slowly work their way up the mountain to better and better feed. Pedro spends his time here in a wall tent and everything he needs has to be carried in on the back of a horse. Several hundred pounds of supplies need to go up every single week, including salt for the sheep, hay cubes for the horses, dog food, groceries, and water for Pedro. It usually takes at least two horses to bring stuff into Pedro every week. Sometimes we get lucky and have a little extra help from the guys down the road. We take advantage of all the extra horsepower, or in this case, mule power, and haul up all the extra salt for the sheep and hay cubes for the horses that we can. Along with bringing in anything he needs, in order to stay close to the sheep, we need to move his camp and all his stuff every now and again so that he can do his job the best he can without having to make himself or his horses and dogs work any harder than they need to. When we load pack horses, we use a special frame that sits on top of the horse called a pack tree. It has two heavy canvas bags that hang off either side of the horse and straps that tighten everything up after it's all loaded. Everyone seems to have their own way of loading pack horses with all different kinds of gear, but this is the way my great grandpa did it back in the day when he was herding sheep and it still works for us today. Yep. Everything we load on the horse has to be weighed out and equal on both sides so the horse is comfortable carrying the load and stable as we move about the steep and rough places we need to go. All of his food, dishes, utensils, gas stove and clothes are put into boxes that we built to put in the pack bags. His tent, bedding and wood stove all go right on top of the horse. Our wall tent only needs three poles to stand, so we cut and leave three poles at every campsite we go to, so they're ready for us from year to year. When we're done with that campsite, we stash the poles in the tree and head for the next place. We spend the first part of summer in this area feeding down low in the canyons and taking advantage of the good feed in the thick trees. Being far from roads, it makes this place a little more time consuming to come in and take care of what needs to be taken care of but how can you beat an office view like this one? When the feed is ready on top of the mountain, we move the sheep up and out the top and into the crail so we can count the sheep, make sure they're all there, doctor anything that needs attention, and then move them to the area where they will spend the rest of the summer, which luckily isn't too far away from our crail. As we move out of the wilderness area and back into a place with roads, Pedro moves back into his camp and out of the tent. Now it's our job to go in and bring out the wall tent and all his supplies so we can get it put away for the next year. Windy day today, beautiful. Wind's blowing, sun's out. 
put a sweatshirt on for the first time and I don't know how long, it's a good time. We got all the pack saddles on, the other one's down there. We gotta go get all these stuff, load it on the horses, come back out, throw it in the trailer and get off here and plan out it's not too muddy so we can get out of here without getting stuck. Got one down, got to load one more, get the majority on him, finish off with the last horse, and be out of here. These packs may look big and bulky, but they don't weigh as much as you would think. It just takes a lot of space to get everything a guy needs to survive on three horses. Each one is carrying less than 200 pounds, which to a horse isn't very much. On the first horse, we have bedding, gas stoves for cooking, and boxes with food and dishes. On the second horse, we have more boxes with food, clothing, and cooking supplies, the canvas wall tent, and the wood stove and pipe set right on top. The third horse carries all the miscellaneous things like leftover dog food, hay cubes, chainsaws, and gas, whatever else we couldn't fit on the first two horses. Everything that we bring in, we bring out. We haul out all of his garbage every week so there's nothing left behind at the camps when it's time to move. Oh baby. After all the time in the middle of nowhere, every single sheep was accounted for. Let me know in the comments if you think you'd be able to live in a tent alone with a couple of dogs and horses and take care of an entire herd of sheep without losing half the herd in some canyon somewhere. That is some pretty amazing work. We are always concerned with the welfare of the guys we work with and the animals they take care of. If they're happy, then so are we. Although Pedro stays in the tent for the short amount of time he's here in this area, he looks forward to it every year. The sheep are happy feeding in the deep canyons and the lambs grow like crazy. We haul in everything he may need every week. From food for him and his horses and dogs, batteries for his phone to keep it charged so he can keep in contact with his friends and family, propane for his lantern and stove, and anything else he sends down on his weekly list. As we get all the packing supplies put in the truck, it makes us a little sad. It seems like this time of year flies by and every year seems to keep getting faster. We look forward to saddling up horses and spending time on the mountain doing what we love most, surrounded by awesome people. Not only do we get to do what we love, but we get to call this work. We run like crazy all spring and early summer, but when we get on the horses and head for the mountain, there's only so fast you can go on a horse, so we take advantage of every single minute of it.